Who's got low? Come up slowly. Here comes a big one. Up and back down. We must look left and right before we cross. So let's go. Hello and welcome to another PH Sports story. Today we're going on a trip around the city and we're going to try and find as many mode of transports as we can. Let's go! So, we're in a city and I can see across it. But, the light is red. And red means... Stop! Exactly! Oh, but now it's green. But remember, we must look left and right before we cross. So let's go! Fantastic work, we cross so safely. But remember, we must always look left and right. So, we have found our first mode of transport, and it's a car. Can you do an impression of someone driving a car? Remember to hold onto the steering wheel, we're gonna follow the road nice and slowly, nice and carefully, and not bumping into anybody. Let's go. Are you driving a really small car or are you driving a really big car? Let's go! I can see a red light, so stop! Now we must wait until it goes green. Let's go! a really slow car or a really fast car but remember to follow the road and move very safely oh green light oh red light hold nice and carefully nice and slowly stop the car well done everybody good now often a car has four wheels. If I have two cars, how many wheels do I have? Hmm. That's right, eight. Well done if you got that right. Now let's go and find another mode of transport. We have found our second mode of transport and it's a big one. It's a bus. So we're gonna sit in our seat Hold on to our big steering wheel. We're going to follow the road nice and slowly, nice and carefully. And let's see if we can pick up any passengers. Off we go. Oh, here's the first stop. On you get. That's three passengers. Let's find another stop. Oh, red lights, we must wait until it turns what colour? Green, exactly. <gasps> Off we go now. A second bus stop. Hello there. That's one passenger. Three at the first stop, one at the second stop. Let's go. Another red light. We have to wait. <gasps> it's green. And our last stop. Good afternoon. That's one passenger. So three at the first stop, one at the second, and one at the third. How many do I have? Five, correct. Well done if you got that. Now let's see if we can find another mode of transport. We found ourselves at an airport. I wonder. What mode of transport will we find here? A plane, yes! Should we go and see if we can find one? Over there, look at that plane. Let's do an impression of it. We're going to start low, have our wings out, ready for takeoff. Three, two, one, go! 
So start low, come up slowly, rise up high, and we're in the air. So now we're flying through big wings, making sure we fly nice and carefully with all our passengers. Make sure we don't bump into any airplanes and we avoid all the birds that are in the sky. Now have a little think. Are you a big plane? Are you a small plane? Are you a fast plane? Are you a slow plane? But move very carefully. Make sure we go round, go through the clouds, past the birds. Wow, good flying everybody. And now we're going to take it into a landing. So we're going to come down slowly and carefully. Down slow and land very careful. Good job everybody. Did you know some planes can take up to 850 people? That's a lot of people. We're at a train station and there's so many trains. Let's see if we can find one. Did you know trains can carry people? materials and animals all over the world. Our train has wheels on its track. We're going to move very slowly and carefully and go on a train adventure. Off we go. Start slowly and begin to pick up speed. Do you know what noise a train makes? That's right, choo choo! Can we begin to safely pick up some speed? And slowly come to a halt. Wow! Good job everybody! What a great journey that was! Now before we move on to our next mode of transport, let me tell you a joke. What do you call a train that can't stop sneezing? A choo-choo train. <laughs> so now we're at the harbour. Now what might I find here? That's right, a boat. Did you know they have small boats for fishing and big boats that take people on holiday? And they can have up to 6,000 people on them. Now I've found us a small fishing boat that we can go on. So let's hold on tight and let's take our boat out to sea. We're going to go up and over the waves. Up on top of the wave and back down. Here comes a big one. Up. And back down, hold on tight. Now we're swaying side to side. It's very choppy up here. Hold on tight. Uh-oh, it's a big wave. Up high and back down. Now we're going to take our boat back into the harbour. Very slowly. Fantastic job, everybody. Well done. So today, we have found all of our mode of transport. We have found a car, a bus, a plane, a train, and a boat. How many modes of transport is that? That's right, five. Well done if you got that correct. Good job. Now, can we recap each mode of transport? Let's start with our car. Have you got a big car? Have you got a small car? Slow or fast? Remember that red light? It's green, we can go. 
Now let's go to our bus. So a little bit bigger now. Go careful and follow the road slowly. Let's have a look out for any pedestrians. Red light. Green light. Now let's become our aeroplane. Are you a small aeroplane? Are you a big aeroplane? Let's go. Are you flying really low? Or are you flying really high above the clouds? Make sure you go through the clouds and you avoid any birds. Fantastic. Now let's become our trains. So we're going to have our wheels and they're going to be on the tracks going very carefully. Choo choo! You can start slow and then safely get a bit faster. And our last one, our boat. Hold on tight and let's go over those waves. So we can start low, go high above the wave and back down. Hold on tight. Well done everybody. Now today we found five modes of transport. But before we go, I would love for you to go away and find you some of your own and then find some facts. I'll see you next week for another PH Sports story. Good luck.